So probably one of the top places that I've travelled to, I think, in my illustrious career would, would, would have to be Australia. One of the main reasons being the incredible Sydney Opera House and the astonishing walk down the quay that you, because you can't get there by taxi, you basically, the, the place that we're staying at is the Grand Quay Hotel. And the only route to it is by foot and just a beautiful afternoon strolling down the quay with the ocean waves brushing by the side of the quay, the, the, the great big iron bridge in the background and the opera house poignantly sitting and waiting for the performance. Just an amazing feeling and walking up and seeing the Sydney Opera House as the backdrop is just incredible and knowing that you're going to be performing there that particular evening. So that's one of the most standout places. I love America. Um, I love Japan. Again, for different reasons. I love the Japanese culture. I love the food, the people. And again, been lucky enough to perform at some incredible venues there. Um, so Japan would certainly be one of the standout places. And then Rome. Um, Rome, again, incredible. For, again, for so many different reasons for me. Not least of all because um, one of my big performances there was um, at the Vatican for Pope John Paul II. And that was probably the most career-defining moment to date that, 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 that I've, I've, I've had. Just an amazing day, meeting the Pope himself, getting the, the papal blessing, and it was, again, just tremendous. So Rome, it's, it's so difficult. I've, I've, I've been so fortunate in my, my career to have visited so many, so many incredible places on, on the planet. It's, it's kind of like being in the Navy, but you've not got anybody telling you what to do. It's good. <laughs>